So the correct diagnosis here is choice E, epidermoid spinal cyst. So let's look at some of the key features that make choice E the best answer here. First of all, on post-contrast sequence, you can see there's no enhancement, no central uh, enhancing mural nodule or enhancing component. On T2 weighted image, there's a cystic expansion. On diffusion weighted sequence, you see bright signal on DW, dark on signal on ADC, so there's restricted diffusion, cystic expansion without enhancement. The best answer here is epidermoid cyst. So they may ask you about epidermoid cyst. The intracranial epidermal cysts almost always occur as a congenital cause. For the spinal epidermal cysts, though, vast majority or majority of them is going to be acquired. A lot of time due to atrogenic reasons such as prior procedures, LP, etc. And it can also occur as a congenital uh, lesion. And for those, they tend to associate it with other spinal malformations such as spinal dysraphism, hemivertebra, etc. What about uh, other choices that's not so great for this case? The first two, astrocytoma and pendulomoma, when you see an intramaterial neoplasm, those should be the first two you should be thinking about. And on board exam, some of the distinguished features that you can see. Well, first of all, both lesions just should show some enhancement uh, to, some, to some degree, or classically, they should have some enhancement. So that's not the best answer for this case. But if you try to differentiate between astrocytoma versus a pentomoma on board exam, uh, you can use age if they give you that. The astrocytoma tend to occur in younger patients, in kids, young adults. A pentomoma tend to occur in older patients. If you see a lesion that's clearly more eccentric rather than central, I would go with astrocytoma. Remember, a pentomoma is derived from the central canal, so they tend to be more central. Also, if you see signs of hemorrhage, uh, especially ones that are consistent with a cap sign, so a hypo intensity on T2 or GRE around the margin shows a cap, um, or history of hemorrhage or something look like hemorrhage, I would go with a pendomoma. Hemorrhage in astrocytoma is not that common. For hemangioblastoma, they do present as an intramaterial cystic lesion but classically, they should show you an enhancing mural nodule. So we don't see that in this case. And with hemangioblastoma, as you know, there's association with Van Hippolendo. For schwannoma, or if you think about cystic schwannoma, schwannoma should be a extramedullary intradural. So in this case, it clearly is not an extramedullary lesion. So schwannoma is clearly out. So the best answer here is epidermoisis. Again, if you have any questions, please contact me. Good luck on your study. Thank you.